and comes to all the classic car enthusiasts. Um, I mean, it's just got back tonight, so we've been working on the mini tomorrow and all week. So for the mini guys, uh, that'll, that'll be good because we have to get it ready for the, in the next ten days to get it over to paint. Um, trying to make this up to, to to do circles for the the cutter on the bead roller to cut circles out and and to uh, do beads in uh, circles in it. And I saw this idea from a guy on YouTube where he used, and I had an old skateboard, I don't know why I had it, it must have belonged to somebody, but I had an old, uh, an old skateboard and it had four wheels on it, so I used the bearings like he did in the, in the YouTube video. And, the, the, and it works, I've got a, a nice scent on it. Unfortunately the batteries are down and I'm charging them here just now, so I can't show you it. Um, but I will. Um, the, the problem I'm finding with it now, I and mean, what he did was he built the same thing, he built this piece and instead of punching a hole in the metal uh, to let it sit on like a record player if you like, like a record, uh, he used these two. Now it might be the fact that these uh, wheels off this skateboard, they were, uh, I don't know whether, uh, I, I had one of them here somewhere, uh, where are they? There's a piece, there's a piece off one of them somewhere. Or some shit like that. Yeah. Anyway, um, yeah, I've got, I've got one somewhere. Um, where is that bit of? Oh, it's here. It's in the. I'm looking at it in the vice. You see, this was off a, off a skateboard, and I just took the wheels off it because they've got bearings in them. But they've got kind of like a profile on them, and I think what they need is they need to be flat. But what's happening is that when I had, to, I had to weld a piece on and put a, 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 a washer in to make a shoulder for the bearing so this would spin around. And as you can see, it spins. I'm going to open this up a little bit. You can see that spins nicely. And it's already made one, but unfortunately the battery went flat. Um, but the problem is, is when you go then to recenter it, it's very difficult to get it recentered. Uh, so I think the whole thing might be an easier way to do it. Um, the idea of this is, is that uh, my wife likes uh, metal art kind of stuff for the garden and, and, and what have you. So when I finished a lot of these cars, that's what I intend to do in my kind of twilight years when I stop doing all the restoring, is just make a bit of metal art. I'm not very arty, but she is and she can design something and I can make it. So we just thought we'd give it a try and see. So what I'm thinking now is, is well, I might use the same system uh, but put a bit of this box section on here uh, but with a pin on it so that it sits and, and that way you can just put it straight into the hole every time and you could make smaller and smaller circles or ever decreasing circles or make them larger whichever um, but I'll take it out and I'll show you the main problem has been is I had to weld this on and this is not now straight so what it's doing is it's, it's, it, it's bending up it's going down at an angle like this each time so this is a bit of a warning, but I might leave that top one in place just to stop it coming off the off the. Uh, I'll just open this up a bit. But you can see what it's done is because the wheels are not flat, it's made this kind of indentation. But you can see there, it's it's, uh, it's the circle's quite good, and it worked. But then it, it's. Ooh, thunder, great, a bit of rain, we need it. Um, so what you can see there, when I push it down, you can see how it's out of alignment here, because I couldn't get the shaft straight. So what I'm thinking is, is maybe leave that one on the bottom which is straight, take this one out, oh no, 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 it would need to be on the bottom. Anyway, what I'm thinking of doing maybe is putting a shaft on here, and then I could put a nut in it to adjust it, and I can take it backwards and forwards to make it whatever size uh, and use this as a captive and if that doesn't work then just cut it off completely and just have this thing running backwards and forwards I think that might be the way to go but uh, I'll show you how it, uh, how it works I'm, this battery's charging up just a quick video just for tonight and uh, so you can see that I made it out of uh, box section and you can see there these the, these two bearings you can, actually the shit's still in it from where I was welding it but they're just uh, to, uh, uh, and you can see that bottom one I cut it off and I think I need to do that with the top one, make it flat. You can see 
if I open this right up, well, open it up enough, you can see there that the angle, where well, the angle's wrong. And as I turn it down, you can see it's not centering correctly. That's because this is wrong. So I either have to cut it off and straighten it somehow, or do something else. It's okay when it's together, which is what I, where I, how I put it together. Looks like two apples, doesn't it? Anyway, but the thing about it is with this, the reason I've got a kink in it like this at the top is because these, this needs to be right in line with the cutting area here, not on the inside. So they don't want to be lined up with the with the bolt. They want to be lined up just in front of them. Um, but I think that's what I'll do. I'll, I'll I'll go with a little hole. I think I think that's going to be a better way of doing it. But you just basically, you can see this one's charging up. There's something wrong with this. This uh, this battery on this side is fine. This one, I'm going to see if I can get a, a replacement for it because it just doesn't seem to hold a charge at all. It's been like that since I bought it, and it's still got the guarantee on it. But I'll, I'll open this up and I'll show you. Basically, how I've done it. <coughs> and you can see the idea would be that you can move that in or out, so you could go as far as that, or you could come right out to to that whatever size you wanted, basically. So that's the that's the idea behind it. And I saw a guy do it on YouTube, and, it, and what he'd done though is he'd, he'd taken these nylon uh, skateboard wheels and he'd put them in the lathe and flattened them so the surface area was better because if you look there's one here you can see see that's quite that's got quite a profile on it so really only that bit's contacting I think if that was flat it would sit better so we'll have to have a look anyway so that's the idea anyway so we'll finish it off tomorrow and then we'll be working on the minis all week the mini all week anyway so look forward to that so anyway that's it for tonight Take care, and uh, if you like them, subscribe and and give us a thumbs up or a comment. It's always always welcome. So take care. Bye for now. Bye.